many of you have ever been tempted to fudge your age? Just even a little bit at any age? Well, I want to tell you about the story of the aging I grew up with. It went like this. When you're young, you're vital and energetic, and you rush up the mountain of success where you peak at 40. And then after it, there's this big decline, which is why people want to stay 40. And then you look at the media and the entertainment industry, and everybody has to be young. So if you're an actress and you're in Hollywood, you better get ready to cut your face or fix it in order to be able to have work at all. Unless you're someone who dares not to fix herself, which made me so happy that Frances McDormand won the Academy Award with wrinkles because there's a whole industry out there telling you you shouldn't be older or look older. And it's big. It has age-defying, age-denying, anti-aging everythings. And you want to guess how big that industry is? $250 billion, which is more than many countries in the world produce every year. So it's not about the products. You know, I'm no purist. I just don't want anybody telling me that I shouldn't be the age that I am. Because ageism is rampant out there. Some of you know what I'm talking about. But it's a strange disease, as all the isms are. If you're white and you're racist, you're never going to be black. But if you're young and you're ageist, you're probably going to be old. <laughs> Ageism is like discriminating against the future you. <laughs> so as I approached 60, I needed some help. And I went to a woman who does Chinese face reading and numerology. And I poured out my heart to her. And I said, Jean, I'm 60, but I don't want to retire. I feel like I've just found my calling in life. I want to perform, and I want to write, and I want to tell stories. And she looked at my numbers and said, you got it. You've got to do that. So I was excited until reality hit. And I thought, Sally, you don't have a BFA. You don't have a writing degree. You weren't an actress in college. You're 40 years too late. And then she told me something that would change my life. She said, Sally, when you were 40, you couldn't have done it. You can only do it because you're 60. Because in the Chinese system, the decade is one of expansion. So I began to do some research to figure out what actually gets better after 60. And I discovered that even your brain gets better. For example, your amygdala, which is that pesky epicenter of your rabid emotion that can outbreak at any moment, calms down a bit. And even though a lot of us, self-included, are going to lose a lot of words that are at the tip of our tongue, our vocabularies actually keep increasing. And in today's crazy, polarized world, we're the ones whose brains can handle complexity and big picture thinking. But it gets even better, because I talked to some of my older friends, and they gave me one key to their success, happiness, and creativity at their age. They said to me, we no longer have to prove anything to anybody. We get to be who we really are. So tonight, I challenge you. We're going to say a brief phrase that will eliminate denial from your life forever. It goes like this. I'm proud to be. And then we shout our ages. So ready? With me. I'm proud to be 66!